Hey my Joanna Games Junkies and welcome back to this week's video. In this week's video I am going to do a fixer upper update for you guys. Just to let you guys know where our home renovation is. If you're new to my channel here at Texas Magnolia Home, hi, I'm Justin. We do a lot of DIY projects, home decor hauls, and home renovation updates here on our Fixer Upper here in South Texas. Now, in this week's video, what we are going to do is I'm gonna walk around, show you guys where our renovation is, let you guys see where the progress has been, and yeah, we are getting so close to being done, but if you're new to my channel and you like content like this, make sure you pause the video, go down below, subscribe to my channel, and this week I typically get about one to 200 likes, so I really wanna do a little experiment in this video. If you like this kind of content, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. I would love to see three to 400 likes. If we can get to that number, that lets me know that you guys wanna keep on seeing our Fixer Upper renovation progress. All right guys, let's get started in this week's video. Now basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk around, show you guys what all has been done, where the progress is, and we'll start right here in the living room. Now this is where that fireplace in the previous Fixer Upper Update video was. I will make sure to link it up above so you guys can see that what the before picture of this looked like, but we added this board and batten wall that is painted in a pure white by Sherwin-Williams. Now the gray on the wall is called Repose Gray by Sherwin-Williams, and if you check out all this cool farmhouse trim, this was all added in. We had the door sanded down because we're actually going to stain the doors. Uh, we aren't actually reusing this fridge for the inside, but we are reusing it for the outside in our garage. Um, but yeah, I'm really liking how all of this molding is popping through. It looks really, really, really good. Now, one other update I wanna show you guys is we had to have the floors repaired. This is where the hearth was for the old fireplace, but we had it patched in with new wood and we're gonna have it all sanded and restained for the house. Now, walking on in to the office, look, how beautiful this slate tile color, uh, which is also a Sherwin-Williams paint. Look how well it pops in here. And I was really scared to use a dark color like this, but I think it works really well in this room due to the amount of light that floods in through these original windows. They are absolutely beautiful and gorgeous. Um, if you want to hear more on what we are doing in this room, make sure, like I said, to check out the previous video I did on this. We're doing something really cool in this area. Now, let's walk on into the kitchen. Look at this. First off, check down here. They had to actually uh, feather in all new flooring. There was a bunch of holes that had to be patched in, but I am so excited to actually see this all being redone. We added in this shiplap wall over here and it's gonna look really cute. I have a really cool DIY project that we're doing on this shiplap wall, but you'll have to wait and see uh, what that project is. Now, going off into this back area, we're not keeping this door. I have another door that we are using and it's gonna be on barn door hardware. But this over here, this little section right here, is where our fridge and a big pantry is going. And then I'm gonna flip around, hopefully the lighting doesn't get too bad. But basically we're gonna have cabinets run all the way along this wall and it'll stop approximately right here. And then in the center will be our gas range with a big pretty custom vent hood. And all around here, I think what we're gonna do around the cabinets is shoot subway tile, all the way up to the ceiling and then basically in this portion of the room is where our dining room table is going to go um, those are just boxes for the bathroom cabinets our kitchen cabinets are actually custom cabinets so they are about to be start to be built so yeah let's keep on going throughout this house now coming on into the hallway the lighting is going to get crazy i'm sorry but this is going into the master bathroom Real quick, we had an accident. Um, our bathroom cabinets were ordered through Click Studios 
and they sent us the wrong cabinet. This is not what we're going with. So we got this instead of one of the bathroom vanity pieces. So it's gonna delay our cabinetry, but yeah, that's the cabinetry, that's the inside of the cabinet. It's basically a gray colored shaker style. Here, let me take all of it here. It's wrapped, but you can kind of get the gist of the idea. Now, this is our master closet, and we're putting in those French doors that were in the master bathroom before, which led on into the living room, but we're repurposing them in here. And yeah, let me just do a quick little panning shot so y'all can see in here. I just love all the trim that we added in. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. But yeah, let's go into the bathroom. It has transitioned so much since the last time I recorded and showed you guys. So these are the beautiful two inch hexagon Carrera white marble uh, floors that we put in. I just love it, but check out the shower. Isn't that thing amazing? We haven't grouted it yet. They're actually gonna start on that tomorrow. So this is what I was telling you guys in the last video. To save a little money, instead of doing marble all the way around, we went with this, uh, it's a quartz. So it's a lot more durable than marble and it's a lot cheaper, but I think it goes really well with the tile, you know, it looks like it's marble as well. So we have these little benches on the side with the same quartz, and then a marble tile in the little soap area with the quartz little bottom base dish. And yeah, I love how the mosaic uh, band go into the floor to ceiling, how it turned out. And then we'll have two rainfall shower heads right there. I don't know guys, I'm really liking how all of this is turning out. All right, so I'm gonna walk y'all back through into the master bedroom. Then we will go through in the closet, I mean, go through in the hallway, I'm sorry. And then we'll go into our, our son's room. Yeah, everything is just turning out so pretty. Oh, another note, if you're wondering why, this is another shiplap wall, but if you're wondering why some of that yellow is pulling through, it was some of the wood filler, we're actually gonna do another coat on that, so Oops, it's a little blurry. There it goes. All right, so basically the shiplap walls are gonna get another coat of paint, but look how pretty that brick pops against that shiplap and the gray walls. It is gonna be super, super, super cute. And yeah, we're gonna do a little desk station for our son right there. And I have another cool DIY project that we're gonna do right here for his TV. You'll just have to stay tuned to see it, but there's some more of the bathroom cabinetry. All right, let's keep walking. I'll show you the guest uh, bedroom and then the guest bathroom. So walking on through, here is another beautiful shiplap wall that just needs another coat of paint. But as we walk in, I told y'all in the last video to check out my Instagram and try to figure out, I know guys, the yard needs to be mowed, you know, um, we're getting there, we're getting there. But I told y'all, check out my Instagram to figure out what we were doing here, and this is what we are doing. So we added in this little shiplap focal point here because on my Instagram, I talked about how I had a, um, mantle that we picked up in New Orleans. So we're actually gonna mount that mantle right here and then we have an outlet up here for like lights or whatever we wanna put up there. But we're gonna paint it probably the same repose gray to pop against the shiplap. But if I don't like it, cause I'm kinda, I, I don't know for sure if I'm gonna like it or not. If not, we're gonna paint it a little bit darker gray. And then in the center, since it is a faux uh, fireplace, we're gonna put some leftover marble tile. Now walking back into the hallway, into the guest bathroom, it's turning out super cute. More of the hexagon, uh, two inch hexagon marble tile, and then coming on up, and holy, sh I'm not shiplap, subway tile. Look at all of that, I'm so excited, because what we're gonna do in here is on the tub, we're gonna do glass with a little glass door, because we have really pretty, uh, plumbing fixtures in here and it's gonna look really cool. But on the right hand side, we're gonna do some industrial shelving and I think it's gonna pop. You'll give us additional storage. Since this bathroom isn't the biggest in here, let me flip around. So the vanity, oops, 
The vanity will sit right there and it will have a single tower on the right shooting up for more storage. Okay, that is about it. I just wanted to show you guys where our fixer upper update progress was. We are so excited. It is getting so close. I can't wait to start, you know, bringing in all these items that I keep hauling and start bringing the whole design concept together. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys everything and just leave me a comment down below what your favorite portion uh, that we are doing in the house, whether if it's an accent wall, a tile choice, a fixture, you know, a layout. I don't care. I just kind of want to hear what you guys think of our fixer upper here in South Texas and make sure to hit that like button. I just want to know that you guys actually want to keep seeing these type videos. And if not, I still have a lot of other content plan for you guys if you like this video give us a big thumbs up and until next time bye guys bye.